come today enough of the boring text effect you always use for your design because in this video i'm going to be walking you through five amazing apps you can use to elevate the look of your titles in your design so that your clients can be happy with you my name is benjamin i'm a verified canva expert and let's dive straight into the first one So the first app we are going to be looking at is Typecraft. It is an interesting app that helps you to twist, warp, you know, whatever you want to do with your text, you can actually do it with Typecraft. So let's take a look at it. And I have some text here which says Rebel. So we would come into apps and just search for Typecraft. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. And I think it should be together. And if I'm not mistaken, that's what, uh -huh. yeah. So Typecraft, this is what we have and it should load actually it should load beautifully for you so the first thing we are going to do is simply enter our text over here so we'll just say webel okay and maybe we can just keep it all caps okay webel and we can come to font to change the font so there are so many typefaces we have in here and you can choose any one of your choice okay so let's choose this one all right and we'll go back so back over here we have style which gives us three options, the non field and outline. So if you choose it, you know, it just adjusts and all that. So outline gives us two color options, but we'll just go with style for this one. Now we have the mirror point. Okay, so we can choose any one of our choice. This gives us the opportunity to create interesting text for our text or our title. And if we click on add element to design, you can see it's been added over here. What I like about Typecraft is even after we've made our text, once you click on it and we come to edit, it opens and you can just make further adjustments to, you know, to your text. So this is what we have over here. The second app we are going to be looking at is Type Lettering, and this also helps you to create amazing text effect. So let's look at what we can do with Type Lettering. Okay, so we are going to go back into apps and we'll just, you know, type Type Lettering okay <laughs> type lettering and it should open for us i think most of these types we have to keep them together so type lettering but type lettering it gives you template you can work with and you can see we have some templates in here so depending on what you want you can just click so once you choose this one we can see we have the friday vibes today so this is the preview you edit your text over here so we can say amazing grace okay build with miracles so this is very easy we can come here to font to change the font depending on what you want okay so there's so many font options we have over here so i can choose the balloony balloony one two three if i go back you can see it's been adjusted and we also have the option to adjust the colors when it comes to type lettering so we can just change this to any type at all we want and we can see it gets to be affected so this is what we can do. You have the freedom to customize the text according to your style and your liking. Okay, so if we want to change the red to black, we can do it and you can see how things are looking over here. Once you're done, all you need to do is to click on add to design and it should be added, okay? So with this, are we able to customize it? Once you click on this and we come to edit, okay, let's simply just go back let's go to edit again okay we are able to actually customize the text if we want to make further changes so that's with type lettering and i hope you are enjoying it so far the third app is type extrude okay which means that you're able to extrude certain parts of your text and this is actually very interesting there are times where you'd want to create this type of effect for your text because it's very important and it gives your design a certain type of vibe okay so let's see how we can do that so back into canva and we are just going to create a new page okay so a new page then we come into apps i'm already there and we just type type extrude okay so extrude and this is it very easy and very beautiful <laughs> god have mercy upon us all right so it should look beautiful for us hey my tank what's happening to you <laughs> all right so we can see what we have over here and i can just say amazing one thing you should know is that depending on the um, font you use it helps to make your design more beautiful okay so i'll just take my time and find let's lose let's use this okay which is the pix bob one two three okay this looks very beautiful so we have two color options one for the text color and one for the extrude 
Okay, so the text color, we can make this yellow and the extrude. That's one secret you can do is to make this a, a deep yellow. Okay, so something like that, right? Then the extrude angle can be customized. You can see the outline thickness can also be increased or decreased or even without any thickness, but I'll increase mine to this. And the extrude length, you can see what we have been able to create. So once we have this, I'll just change the angle to something like this. Okay, and I think and I can add it to my design. So once I have it here, I can increase the size just like this and I can keep it here and also just change the color and we can use a nice color. So I don't know if red works, but we can still use, you know, something like this, which works. I think this works. It looks very nice like this. So this is what you can do with type extrude. And I hope you are enjoying it. Moving on to the next app, which is called Type Wap. Okay, Type Wap. W A R P. Okay, so let's check it out and let's see what we can do with that. So we set this to white. And we're also going to go back into apps and just search for type. It looks like all the apps have type type things to it, you know. So once you click on it, this is what should open if you haven't used it before. So it should load beautifully and everything should be loaded so you can see there are some options we have in here so i can say stupendous okay so this is what i can have over here and we can also change the font you can change the color over here but i think i'm liking the black so i'll just leave it at black and we have the options okay so we have this you can increase the height or decrease the height okay so that's what you have depending on what you choose so if you choose this option this one has curve so it gives you options and we have this one as well which increases the rise i think i like it i like this one so much and there are also options so depending on what you choose you may have further options you can work with okay so these are the options available i'm just going to stick it to this and the bend i'm just going to increase it something like this so this is what we have we can add it to the design okay once we add it we can increase it and this is beautiful so now i want us to see if it's easy for us to be able to edit it later on let's assume we've done other stuff and we want to change things so i'll come to element just to go off so i click back come to edit we can actually do that so once you come here you can just update it and it should be updated so you can see what we have at the moment wow this is beautiful and i like it so much the next one i want us to take a look at is called the font studio okay font studio let's see how it works so with font studio the same thing we are going to do just go back into apps and search for font studio and it should be together okay font studio once you click on it it should also ask you to open if you haven't opened it before and everything should be loaded this also gives you some option or templates you can choose from okay so you can see we have a number of options over here or templates over here we can actually work with so we can choose let's choose neon so let me create a new page and choose neon okay so with neon you can see what we have we can just change the text and say biggie 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 heavy heavy baby do you want me but trust me not too many fly like me the big daddy hauling me hauling me of the biggie long time she down wishing you was a friend of mine yeah god bless not to let you give up and lily got to do this that we want to look for biggie biggie heavy heavy baby do you want me okay so biggie and the font is righteous that's the name of the font that's interesting but i'll just change it to real way okay so this is what we have the letter fill okay which is the main colors over here so we can change the color to any color of our choice but since it's multicolored black would work and it looks like we can add extra colors so yellow and black you know just to give the neon vibe you know so that's what you can do and you can even add an image that's what they are telling us so let's choose this image okay so you can see we have the image in there okay that's interesting but we'll just keep it to color at the moment and what we have here as well is the special effect so you can see we can just keep things looking uh wiggly and the text separation 
you can also adjust it from here. So we'll just keep it like this and the outline. So we can change the colors. So if we change from yellow to blue, you can see it's been affected. Or if we change it to orange, you can see how it's been affected. And we have the second color over here and change it. So depending on what you're looking for, the color options gives you the opportunity to change colors. Okay, so this is what you can do. Then we have this, we can also change this. So that's for the outline. Then we have the projection, okay? The projection gives you the option to change the extrusion, okay? So that's what it does. Then we have the shadow, okay? So the shadow, you can also change it to gray, and you can see how it looks over here. Beautiful, beautiful. And we have the shadow as well, okay? So you can change the shadow. So let's change one color just to see what will be changed. So we have brown or blue, okay? No, purple rather. And we see what's looking over here. So this is how it looks. And we'll click Add to Design, increase the size. And this is what we have at the moment. I hope you are enjoying this so far. The last app we have to look at, what I want to show you is Font Frame. Font Frame. Let's see how it works. This is so beautiful. Okay. So we'll click on Add a Page. Come to Apps as well. And just search for Font Frame. Okay. So once you search on font frame, I think this also has to be together. Font frame has to be together. And this is it. So accept. Okay. I used it some time ago and I think you just wanted to blah, blah, blah. Anyway. So I would add my text. So I'm going to say creativity. And this is what we have at the moment. We can change the font type to any font type at all of your choice. This is beautiful for me. The frame color. Okay, or the outline, you can also change the color depending on what you want. And we can also adjust the border width. Okay, so you can see, I think this works. Now, the image, we can change the image to any image of your choice. So let me use this one. And we can see how it works. So you can just adjust it by clicking and moving the image around. And once you are done, you can either zoom in or zoom out depending on what you want and simply add to your design. And this is what you can have. So you can customize the image to any image of your choice and it should work beautifully for you. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you actually got some tips and tricks you can use to elevate your design. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. The name is Benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video. Peace.